Hello, my name is John Harden. Today I'm going over the Cool Mint, which is a device that cools you down internally. It does a really good job at it. I'm going to go over why I'm using the device, how it works, and the benefits. Um, so let's first go over a little bit of the history of my relationship with Cool Mint. So I first heard about the device from the Huberman Show, which is a scientific podcast. Uh, hosted by a neuroscientist, and he does a really good job of just going over science and explaining it to someone like me who is not a scientist. And so I was really impressed on the podcast where he mentioned Cool Mint. I mean, he was throwing out numbers that were pretty impressive, uh, not just numbers, but uh, you know, scientific peer-reviewed studies and uh, he listed the journals and whatnot. So I was just immediately, okay, here's something that's actually proven to work. Uh, and he was throwing out some pretty impressive numbers like a 114% increase in strength. Um, I'm a runner, so another thing was 44% increase or improvement in endurance, which is a huge benefit for me. And that allows me to keep going. Um, uh, reduce muscle fatigue, uh, so DOMS, delayed onset muscle fatigue, uh, it's going to reduce those things. These are all things that I'm looking for as I am going after the fastest known time on the Appalachian Trail. So that's 53 miles a day. In the summer heat in the south, I need something that can cool me down significantly. And um, let me tell you, this thing does it and we'll, we'll kind of go through that and how well it does it because it's uh it's something to experience I, i've been cooled down before but i've never been cooled in this way I, I, the only way that i can explain it and, and we'll go through it but is uh if you've ever had like an iv injection that with cold water or cold saline and you feel it circulating through your arms or through your body you feel the same thing here and you, you get cold not like oh i'm cold on the outside it's cold to the surface of my palm you get internally cold and cold quickly which is exactly what you want um so what is cool mint so it is a cylinder device basically water and ice go in the bottom of this metal cylinder there's a coil inside the metal cylinder that allows uh, for the water water to be circulated from the top there's a battery up here, there's a little water container up here, and the coolest part is this mitt. This mitt is uh, very futuristic looking, and I actually feel kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of the Nintendo joystick, the hand thing, uh, except this is actually uh, works. <laughs> um, so, and inside of this is a membrane, like this gel membrane that the water passes through. Uh, so it's coming from these cold cylinders and it's recirculating the water which is important because you don't want it to get too cold closing up those blood vessels and you can feel the coolness in your hand and you can feel the coolness kind of like i mentioned before it, it cools you internally uh, so much so that i there's sometimes like i remember coming back from the park and just wanting to put on a jacket on the summer day because i felt that cold so works very well, which allows you to do more work. So your athletics performance is limited by um, your muscles overheating, essentially. There's a little trigger inside of your, and we won't, you can go more into the science on the, on the website. There's, it's all listed there. But essentially your, your muscle fatigue is done through heat and you can reduce that um, and you can come back from that. Uh, by cooling yourself internally, and it allows you to do more work um, just by recirculating, recirculating this, this cool water over your palms. And so that's called palmar cooling. And so you have these blood vessels and, and kind of like the non-hairy areas uh, as mammals. So like your palms, your cheeks right here, your ears in some cases, and the bottoms of your feet. And what Coolmit has, they created it for your palms, so palmar cooling. and through it, like I stated before, through that membrane, cools the palm, not so cold that it, it closes up the blood vessel and goes into the heart. And then from the heart, the heart pumps it out to the muscles. And the muscles, um, I think it's, a, it's an enzyme called um, pyruvate 
I'm going to mess this up because I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not I'm trying to remember what Huber method, but uh, uh, pyruvic kinase um, basically generates uh, ATP, and if that's you know it has a certain heat level, if it's hit, then it can't it, it can't carry on, and so it starts to fail, and that's where you start to fail. I don't know if you've ever been out in the heat where you're like ah, I can't I can't do anymore. I'm too hot, or I, I want to quit. That's your body. That's your kind of your, your yourself telling yourself to cool down that's a protection device right because you are probably getting too hot and you probably do need to cool down so um what the cool mitt does is cool you down so that you can keep on going for me um i'm going 53 miles a day on the appalachian trail i need to come in uh, with i have a whole race team following me so when i come in i'm there for three to ten minutes i'm probably on previous fkts i've come in I've been so internally hot that I usually get sick and I think a lot of runners have some runners have experience where they they want to throw up and they get um, they get nauseous because they're working so hard well this cools you down so that that internal temperature drops and that you can go do more work um, I've I can't tell you the amount of times where I've been out and I've just been nauseous feeling miserable and but I have to keep going um, this this kind of re will relieve that effect, which I'm I'm really looking forward to, especially as um, especially as we hit the south. Other areas that this could be, you could use this in your training quite a bit. So if you look at some of the studies that they have online with weight training, uh, with firefighters, uh, with the army, and just with endurance athletes, uh, all the information is there. It, it's it's super impressive. I've been using it. I've been using it on my uh, treadmill with my speed work. So just seeing how much further I can go. I've been using it on the, the track. I haven't used it with my weightlifting, um, but I am looking forward to using this on the Appalachian Trail because I know how quickly it can cool me. And uh, it, it's impressive. It's, it's something that everyone should um, experience because it's a cool effect. I can see this from, I'm a race director, so I have a company called Hardwind Adventures. We put on trail races uh, in the past, climbing competitions and paddleboard races. So my athletes come in, there's, there's been a lot of times where athletes come in and they've been dizzy, they're hyperthermic, um, and they're overheating. Uh, in the past, what I've done is just put cold ice on their neck, cold ice on their head, and that feels really good. Everybody can agree that that feels good, but that's not inter internally like cooling you as fast as getting on your palms. I can tell you that this feels like you are internally getting cold. And I know I keep saying that, but it's, it's just something again to, to experience because it's different. It's different. And I, for me as a race director, I can see, Hey, I'm going to cool, cool someone down quickly. Um, and I think it's, it's just a very beneficial device for me from a safety standpoint with, with my runners in the summer heat in the south. So uh, the, I'm trying to think about the, the other areas that you could potentially use this is uh, with the army. You can use this as uh, in bike riding with your training. I would use it a lot with training and with something that I'm doing. I can also see it for runners being used with uh, with these kind of uh, last man standing events where you come in into the corral and you have a certain amount of time to, to you know, relax. So a lot of these are held in the summertime. You're coming in hot. I can see something like this, cooling down the runner and allowing them to go do more work and feeling good about it. That's the cool mitt. I'm very excited about using it. I love the relationship with them. Very nice people. Very scientific people, as you can probably imagine. And I'm glad I have it with me on my attempt for the uh, fastest known time on the AT. Thanks.